Welcome back to the Samurai Motherboards.org channel where I, Elric Ferris, your host, will do another Samurai unboxing today with my lovely Samurai sword. I'm going to do a nice unboxing of something very interesting. You guys all know the new 79 series of cards from AMD has been kicking some serious butt in the market and we've got another one of the nice cards to take a look at from the folks over at Sapphire. Now this card is really cool. This is their new twin fan and twin BIOS model. That means it has two fans and also two BIOS chips. Now why is having two BIOS chips good? Well if you go crazy on your Samurai mission to overclock and you chop too much off you can always go back to the other BIOS chip. So that means you overclock the thing, it fails, you can switch the other BIOS chip through a switch on the board, and then you can go back to the original BIOS or the one that you flashed. So that's pretty cool stuff. So that said, let's use my trusty old samurai sword and get to this unboxing. So here we've got it. This is the Sapphire. This is the Sapphire HD 7970. You guys can see this is the dual BIOS, dual X edition, featuring dual fans. Also has three gigabytes of GDDR5, comes with Trix overclocking software. Obviously it's HDMI, and because this card has the required amount of RAM, it will support the new 4K TVs. Let's show you guys the back of the box just real quick. Not much to see there at all. So I'm gonna spin it real quick, take the old samurai sword, an insertion samurai insertion tool nope you know what I don't think samurai insertion tools are meant for these boxes so no samurai insertion tool I'll just go ahead and do it the old school way let's see if one of these are easier than the other now ah, here we go here's a nice little pull tab right here so I'll pull that down so you guys can hear you go here look yeah fake it yeah look ooh nice sword cut yeah Yep, there you go. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, anyways, we'll pop the box open. Pull the box out. This out of the way, you have little sound effects. Woo! All right, there we go. Once again, I have opened the box upside down. I'm famous for this. So we'll start off with the accessories. Sapphire always comes with a lot of stuff. So we've got the Sapphire. This is their quick installation guide. Toss that off. The HDMI cable. Going to need that if you're going to be hooking up to your TV. Display port to DVI cable. Nice one of those. There are two different types of Molex connectors here. Molex to 8-pin and Molex to 6-pin. Those come in the box, so in case you have an old-school power supply, these will come in handy. You also get the crossfire cable, always important. Yeah. Here we have the main display port to DVI cable. Now this is a new one, I haven't actually seen this one come in any box yet, but that actually could come in quite handy for a lot of different things. Go ahead and move that out of the way. We've got your DVI to VGA cable. I know some of you guys say you're still using this. If you do, I'm sorry. Here we have the main display port to standard DisplayPort adapter. If you've got a regular DisplayPort cable, you'll be able to use that to hook up into your monitor, and then you'll need this actually, this connector. Here is the driver CD, the little case badge right there flying around in it. Then we have the Sapphire Select Club. Sapphire Select Club, you're gonna register your card, join the club, get all their little benefits. So take all that stuff, put it all back in the box, toss it out of the way. Woo, fun stuff. All right, here we go. Last but not least, there's the card. Another box card. Flip this thing around. Stop! You must connect this graphics card to your computer's power supply. Hopefully anybody getting a card will know that. One more box card. Nice anti-static bag. Let's pull this thing out. And whoo! All right. This one is big. So now let me grab my measuring tape and let's actually see how large this card is. So I know it's important to a lot of folks. At the topmost of this card, it's coming in at about 11 inches. You guys can see that there, about 11 inches. So this one is going to be a real lady pleaser because it's bigger than the 10 inch cards. So those ladies who like big cards, this is your card, baby. As far as the height goes, this card is almost four and a half inches high. So it's actually a little bit higher than a lot of the other cards. Let's take a look at the width now. Some pretty cool stuff here. 
Let's see if I can balance that right there. That's a pretty cool shot right there. And the card is almost two inches as far as being thick. So we've seen the card. That's how large it is. You guys asked for that, so that's in there. Let's start off, though, right here on the side of the card since I'm here. We can see right here it has Dual X technology, Sapphire. We see the 8 pin and the 6 pin, 150 watts, 75 watts there. Around here, we have two crossfire fingers. So you know that you're going to be able to do crossfire X on this card because there are two crossfire fingers right there to support it. Going to flip the card around, let you guys see the back. Here's the PCI insertion slot right here. This card does support PCI 3.0. We've all talked about that. And you guys know some of the new motherboards for Ivory Bridge have been actually hitting the market. CPUs aren't here, but the motherboards are. But that's a whole other story. Show you guys the back of the card. Now, there are two fans. One here, one here. And if you look underneath, you can see there are complete heat fins all the way through underneath the card. But what's really cool is right here. Look at all of these heat pipes that are running away. So before when the card said VaporX technology, this is actually a step up. This is Dual X technology. So this is basically VaporX technology with a plus. Look at the size of these copper heat pipes. Flip it around real quick, show you guys the rear I.O. Two main display ports, HDMI port, dual link DVI, pretty standard stuff. And lastly, folks, I know it's really hard to see, but we did talk about this card having a dual BIOS. There's a switch right here on the side of the card. You can hear that switching back and forth. That's the switch right there for your dual BIOS. So like I said before, if you flash the card and you get a bad BIOS, you can flash it back to the original one. If you overclock it and you overclock it bad, you can also flash that BIOS back and go to the other BIOS to boot the card. So that's about it, folks. I mean, this is the new Sapphire HD7970. This is the Dual X Dual BIOS Edition. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. Thanks for watching this unboxing. I'm looking forward to the full review, and I hope you are as well. See you back here at motherboards.org.